free job because you're making minimum wage. Tell him you need a better job. There's jobs in this building. This Tallahassee is filled with jobs. Lower it down. Let's act like citizens. Fine. There's enough people. I understand why their wives left them and why they took the children because these are bullies. These are bullying tactics. They do it all the time. They they harass and bully these women on Facebook. They call even me a slut, a whore, all kinds of names. The harassment tactics and the bullying tactics, and now we know why they're divorced. I came here to deliver messages to the governor. I have written messages, we have verbal messages asking him to veto this anti-family bill. It's bad for children. We have just a, a lot of different groups here uh, asking for the governor to veto Senate Bill 668, which is a so-called alimony bill, but they also threw in the 50-50 time-sharing custody of children part of the bill, which is very, very bad for children. No, and that's why we're there are men here who don't, who want the governor, of course, to sign the bill because they don't want to pay alimony; they want to go back to court. It is the very conservative pro-family thing to do to veto this bill. There is a provision on the custody uh, part, the, the so-called 50-50 part, that says that uh, it does not apply to any uh, order entered before October the 1st of 2016. Uh, as she said, th that kind of amendment as applies to alimony was, was re rejected, and there's a good reason for that. That is because it is, in fact, retroactive. If I were sitting as a judge today and this came in front of me, I would rule that it was retroactive. So no matter what they say, it is retroactive. I was a stay-at-home mom for 30 years. My husband was abusive to me. He battered and beat me till my body is just a wreck. He um, was also so jealous, he wouldn't let me work, he wouldn't let me finish school. So now I'm, I'm 56 years old, and I escaped this with my life, and I do feel fortunate for that. But I have to have my lifetime alimony, and the judge saw it that way because I am partially disabled, but I have never worked. You can't get disability unless you've worked. Where I will end up is on welfare and a ward of the state. I can never, you know, anything that I can do at this point. I mean, I've had head injuries and my memory is bad. So the, this bill does not cover these things. It puts it all in this one formula. And there are so many women like myself. And in Florida, you're going to have this huge surge of elderly women that are out in the cults. We have a problem, a fundamental problem, with the way that divorces are handled, with the way that parents are systematically removed from a child's life even when they're fit. If a father is a fit father and a mother is a fit mother, I don't know why the court should begin at a presumption of equal custody if it's possible. Women have fought for their equal rights to vote, to work. There's just as many women in college. The governor himself says he's created a million great jobs in this state. There's no reason why divorced women cannot go work unless they're disabled or some extenuating circumstances where they're taking care of a disabled child. That is completely understandable, but for there to be just these unruly issues, I currently make $41,600 a year working for the state. Because of an income deduction order, I only get $840 a month. I spent a year getting my kids back 50-50. In the first, they took them away. And I, I had to fight for them to get them back. And when I got them back, the judge financially destroyed me, so I had no money. I eat ramen noodles with my children. I'm here mostly for 50-50 custody default because I was a victim of uh, parental alienation from the age of seven. And I just want you guys to, to think about the horror of growing up, waking up every day, thinking every birthday and every wish you make that you might see your parent again. I was not allowed to know where my mother was or see where she was or have any knowledge of what she was or have any contact with her. 50-50 as a default, is not, there's nothing wrong with equality. That is a common sense measure.